Hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Ernest Lee. Welcome to Pitt Community College Outreach. Here you will learn a lot of things that are going on at Pitt Community College, a lot of great things that we want to make sure that we share with every each and every one of you in the community. And we want to make sure that each and every one of you share the information that we give you here. As you know, a lot of great things are going on at the community college. And one of the things that are going on now, of course, we're about uh, getting close here to the end of the semester, which means the new semester will be starting. Uh, uh, the holidays are here and guess what happens right after the holidays. So I hope that uh, all of you who are interested in, in uh, going to school or, or coming, definitely coming back, that you look into what you have to do as far as registration and everything else as far as coming back the first of the year. We have a great show for you today, a great guest. Uh, we have a guest who's been here before, um, somewhat new and not new but definitely got a lot of information to present today. So I want to welcome uh, Ms. Rosalind Brathe to the show. Rosalind, welcome. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about Rosalind Brathe and what she does for Pitt Community College. Uh -huh. I am Rosalind Bethea, maybe director. Someone out there, I'm sorry, there may be someone out there who don't know you. I don't know that yet, because I think everybody now is beginning to know who you are. So <laughs> tell us what's going on with, with, with you and what you do for the college. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Rosalind Bethea. I am the Director of Online Instructional Design. And what I do in my department is I offer courses online through third-party vendors. There's short-term training courses that are about six weeks long, and you receive a certificate of completion. I also offer career training courses, um, and they're from three weeks to um, 12 months. Um, and those courses are offering um, credentials are tied to those courses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, when you talk about things like uh, online learning, tell us a little bit about online learning. We know that that's hot right now. But, uh, you know, from coming from your standpoint, which is what you do a lot of, tell us the, the advantage of, of being on of online learning. So the advantage of my courses are they're asynchronous courses. And what I mean by that is um, you have individuals that work, have children, um, have different things that are going on in their lives. And so with those courses, you can log on at any point in any time of the day um, to complete your program. They're self-paced, so that means that if you have a 12-month course, um, you can take up to 12 months to complete that course. So mm -hmm. uh, we know that everyone is busy and have different things going on and, you know, kids playing sports, and you don't want to commit to a certain time to be in front of the computer every day. So um, this is an added value that will help you um, reach that goal of completing courses but not sitting in front of a computer at a certain time. Okay, now, uh, I guess as we talk about this, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, people who, let's talk a little bit more about people who are ready to go to college, uh, and want to go to college, uh, have some things going on, or uh, how could I say, it? you know, we, did, and they're not really, how would I say college, they're ready to go to college, but they're not college ready, or they're not ready for the whole atmosphere of being on campus uh, and not only on campus, uh, for possibly for now that two year degree that's out there, but uh, they're interested in credentials or they're interested in a certain type of job. Are there credentials out there that people will need to begin to look at to say, hey, um, I'm, I need something to introduce me to uh, how I'm going to learn, especially when we're talking to uh, people who have graduated from high school already and they're trying to still find their way. Absolutely. So um, these courses are, are designed to actually upskill. And that means they're designed for individuals that are already in positions or employed that need to um, up their skills. Maybe perhaps they're looking for a management position and um, they need to, to do some enhancement with their skills. So with that in mind, for example, we offer our Leadership Academy. Our Leadership Academy offers courses um, such as Fundamentals of Supervision 1 and 2, um, Achieving Success with Difficult People, um, Virtual Management, which is huge. Working from home now is huge, and we have to learn how to manage our um, employees from working from home. So those are great courses that you can take if you're trying to upskill. However, um, being the 13 years that I've been in continuing education, we run across individuals every day 
who some of them just want the credentials so that they can uh, take short term classes, get into the workforce. And so these are absolutely the courses that you want to take to um, go ahead and get back into the workforce. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, how would it go about, uh, you know, we say it's online learning and you don't have to do anything as far as coming to campus or anything like that. How would I go about navigating uh, the system to find the course uh, that I might be interested in, how I'll get in the course. And uh, uh, let's talk about, um, a, l- a little bit about the credentials, uh, uh, you know, what does it actually do for me? So in order for you to, if you're interested in the courses, you can absolutely visit our website at um, pitcc.com forward slash ed to go. You can also contact Lila Garrow. Her number is 252-493-7324. You can also contact myself. My number is 252-493-7208. Um, and if they're interested in getting back into the workforce, uh, one of us would definitely be able to sit down and have a conversation with you, see where you are and lead you in the right direction. Uh, now, uh, so who do I contact again? Well, we'll make sure that that information is out there because we're going to talk a little bit more about the ed to go classes, but I want to make sure that they have the contact on, uh, because some people might want to start calling as soon as they see the show. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The direct contact would be Lila Garrow at 252-493-7324. You can also contact myself, Rosalind Bethay, at 252-493-7208. Okay. Now, let's go back again and talk about ed to go okay. uh, which is basically simple uh, slogan there, education to go, on the go. Uh, now, I guess I want to talk about, there's a lot of courses out there for ed to go. Absolutely. So I know, I know you're talking about uh, the Leadership Academy and certain things that you offer, but there's a lot of things that they can choose from out there at ed to go Tell us a little bit about what is ed to go and, and when we're choosing, uh, we're not, say specifically, I'm not sure what I want, but I, I go and I look out there at ed to go and I see all these courses. What am I expecting to see out there if I go and, and look for just courses at ed to go So when you go to our website, you're going to see the short-term courses. The short-term courses are the six-week courses. So let me give you an example. So say you wanted to um, go, you want to take a class that's related to, um, say, and this is just an example, medical code and billing. Well, we offer a medical code and billing short-term training course for $70. And that's going to give you a snippet of medical code and billing. And then say you decide, well, you know what? I really want to sit for credentials for that course. So then you'll move over to our career training programs and you will enroll in those courses and you will receive your credentials. And then let's not forget that also gives us an avenue. If we decide that we want to have a degree as well, we can go to our curriculum side of the house to take um, those courses as well. So just know that it is just as important for you to have stackable credentials as it is for a degree, because in this day and age, most businesses and companies are looking for stackable credentials. So when we talk stackable credentials, uh, you just talked about if you have a degree, how a lot of these programs can enhance what you already have. Absolutely. Is that what you do? Okay. So, okay. So now, uh, and Ed to go, uh, as far as now, as far as a person, as far as introductory uh, mm-hmm. uh, courses for certain things are ed to go. I uh, say I've been out of school. Uh, I've been out of high school now three or four years. And we're talking about to help you uh, enhance your job or whatever. I really haven't had, what you said, a great job since I've been out of high school. Or let's just say that I've been, I've had jobs, but part-time jobs, things like that. And I want to look at what can I do to probably look at something uh, that I want to uh, do for, that will give me those credentials that I could actually look for a full-time job or are those courses available at go? They are available at go. What I'll tell you is once again, the six week uh, training courses are pretty much your upskill. Um, if you need experience in customer service, if you need experience in um, computer programming, uh, Microsoft office, um, Things of that nature, um, you can take those for six weeks. 
Um, but then if you are actually looking for a credential, that is our career training programs. Mm -hmm. And how long is your career training programs? The career training programs, they, they are offered from three months to uh, 12 months. It's just depending on the course. Okay. So when you're talking course, but it's more than one course you take when you're doing that type of ed to go. No, actually, it's just one course that you take to receive a certification in whatever uh, field of interest that you're taking the course in. Okay. And I so guess that's what I want to make sure that people that are listening understand. You're taking one course. One is just longer yes. than the other. So, for example, we have like freight brokers. Um, um, oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, yeah. Trucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so many. We have about 3,000 courses um, that we offer for Ed to go. So right off the top of my head, it's just so many. I just don't know which ones to name. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> but I, but again, how who would they contact? Again, that contact number for Ed to go would be what? Again, the contact number is Lila Garrow at 252-493-7324. Okay, now when you're talking about stackable credentials, I have a degree. Let's say that I have a credential already. So it doesn't matter how many courses that I take in there to go. If I see it does fit, not matter. I can go for it. It does not matter. You can do dual enrollment. You can take as many courses as you like at one time. Okay. And there's no prerequisites for these courses. Okay, talk uh, for a person that's listening to this. Uh, what do you mean when you're talking about no prerequisites? What do you mean when you're talking about dual enrollment? We want to make sure that everybody has the lingo. Okay. So when you're, when you're talking about dual enrollment, that means that you can enroll in more than one ed to go course at a time. When you're talking about prerequisites, that means that there's no requirements um, for you to take these courses. You don't have to take an exam. You don't have to take a test in order to um, take these courses. You just log right on to our continuing education site. Once you register and pay for the class, you'll have full access um, to the class for the duration of the course. Okay. Uh, how about a person now who who's very close? We, we do this on campus. We have uh, one or two courses. We have our trade school and uh, where people can come. And we also have in a nursing assistant one uh, where you don't have to have a high school diploma or GED. Uh, is Ed to go has anything like that? Absolutely. Any for that? Absolutely. You're not required to have a GED or a high school diploma to take these courses. Say that again. <laughs> you uh, did not I, have I, to I want to make sure people are listening to what we're saying here. When, they, when you're talking about getting credentials, understanding you may not have finished high school or whatever, but we have alternatives that are to that where you still can uh, absolutely get and education. That is correct. A GED or a high school diploma is not required for most of the Edigo courses. Okay, so I'm all, now I'm going to go back real quick before you get out of here and <laughs> ask the question. So if I, I heard, I just heard what you said. So, but I'm I'm going to put this so that we understand. If I have, for some reason whatever it was that I had to leave high school or dropped out of high school, uh, not only there are certain certain things at the community college that I can take, but also with Ed to go at Pitt Community College, I can look at courses to take where I don't have to have a high school diploma GD and I can start taking these classes, pay for, reg register, pay for, and start taking class. Absolutely. Okay. I'm holding you to that. <laughs> OK, <laughs> I'm sure we have several people who may be interested in that. But again, uh, what we're talking about still are stackable credentials, enhancing what you already have for that for that job that you're already on. Uh, if you're seeking uh, promotion or anything like that, uh, a good place to start with the ed to go classes. So uh, let's really understand what we're talking about here and we have the expert here now uh, that is talking to you about ed to go so before we let her go just a recap in case someone just tuned into the show on what we're talking about we have miss rosalind patea with Pitt community college we're talking about ed to go classes and we're just going to do a recap on ed to go and how to contact 
you for Ed to go. So if you could do a quick recap before you get out of here, I certainly would appreciate it, as well as the community. <laughs> okay, once again, with Ed to go, we're offering our online courses to third party vendors. We have our six week training courses. Uh, most of those courses start at $70. And then we have our career training programs. They range from um, $300 to maybe $3,000. Um, these courses are offered monthly. So just remember, you do not have to wait a semester to register for these classes. These classes begin the second Wednesday in each month. So you don't have to wait to register. Also, I didn't put a plug in, uh, Mr. Lee. I forgot to let you know that I am working with business and industries in the area to customize training for those individuals as well. So if we have a company that's looking for um, training for their employees, please reach out, reach out, reach out. I'm waiting to hear from you. Um, and that's it to go. Okay. And again, the, the classes start every other Wednesday? No, every they Wednesday. start the second Wednesday in each month. Second the second Wednesday each month, a new class starts. So we're not, and now let me ask you a question. Am I going to worry about when I go register that somebody tell me that uh, there's too many people in the class? I can't get in. The class is full. Absolutely not. You'll never have that problem with Ed to Go courses. Okay. Well, a lot of great information about Ed to Go that we're going to have to continue to get this information out to the computer to the community so they understand a lot more about Ed to go. So with that, I'm going to ask you before you go, will you come back and see us again real, 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 real soon? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Okay. We'll look forward to that. That's Ms. Rosalind Bethel. So take heed and whatever you hear here, we are asking you to let people know what you're hearing about Pitt Community College and what they can and cannot do. Most of the time, you can. It's just a can factory out there. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. So please give us a call about any of the information that you hear here. Tell anyone about what's going on at Pitt Community College and definitely about the Ed to Go classes, and we will get you more information about that real soon. So we thank you for listening, Ms. Ms. Bethea. We thank you again. For, give, uh, for talking to us for uh, a little while about this, and we will definitely be talking to you again real soon. Thank you. And as always, thank you guys for listening, watching. We certainly thank you for all your support for Pitt Community College, and we'll see you next week with a brand new show.